Hello everybody, welcome back, and today we are going to be talking about the good, the bad, and the ugly in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. First of all, I've, so, you know, I want to get this forward and say that it's just an alpha, obviously everybody knows that, um, hopefully the alpha is not going to be what the game is going to be, and I severely doubt it is, that's why it's called an alpha for a reason, but I do hope the beta is going to be a lot more promising than this. And I definitely hope that they give a tactical nerf to the AK-74 and uh, Type 68 and like I can go on and on. But let's get right into it boys and first talk about what's good about Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. I love saying the whole title. So first of all, a lot of you might not like this but it's not Modern Warfare. You know, I definitely don't like Modern Warfare. I think they have a few good things going for them. I do really like their gunsmith aspect. I'm so happy they brought that into there. Um, the gun mechanic in that game is really good. Um, but other than that, I mean, that's already a plus. It's not Modern Warfare. We're moving on. It's over. I do enjoy Warzone, though. I definitely love Warzone. I'm really excited to see what they're about to do uh, in regards to Warzone for Black Ops Cold War. My theory is that they're going to keep Verdansk, but they're going to add another, uh, you know, Cold War side of things per se that's going to be warzone because i don't see them you know combining both weapons into one map that just sounds too unrealistic to me uh but the next thing i want to talk about that's also good the gunsmith the gunsmith was introduced in modern warfare and i thought it was superb they nailed it i love how you can customize your gun see how it looks have it the way you want it i feel like this should be a thing in every call of duty from now on uh, another thing that I want, another thing that's good about uh, Cold War that I've noticed, and you know, a few guns, not really, absolutely like the AK-74, but it's the gun balancing. I know, you know, the AK-74 is super, super overpowered. It's a gun everybody uses. It's a gun every pro, pro player will use. Um, it's basically an AR. It's an SMG. It's whatever you want to call it. Same with the Type 68. That thing needs to be nerfed to the ground. I want people to use that in the beta and go no and take it off immediately. But overall, you know, with all the other weapons, how they're working, yeah, it's just an alpha, but I kind of see, you know, where they're going with this. And I kind of agree with what they're doing with the guns. It's not, you know, there's nothing too, like, overlapping one another. The XM4 kind of was a good job. It was well-rounded. Um, just weird recoil patterns with weapons. Um, another good thing about Cold War, it's pretty looks. You know, we got three maps in the regular multiplayers, uh, 6v6. And I thought the maps looked pretty good. <clears throat> My personal favorite is probably going to be uh, Moscow. Um, just because I love how it's just an indoor map. You can use SMGs. You can go to the left or right. Um... The center is kind of the big attention, but you don't have to go there if you don't want to. You can play around it, you know, and I like that. It doesn't force you to a spot. Um, I also like the map we're playing right here, Satellite. Um, I like how, you know, on one side you can have close quarters, and on the other side you have your desert side, snipers, stuff like that. It's kind of cool having two different things like that. Um, it's kind of, I guess you can say this game is kind of like Black Ops 1 having a baby with Black Ops 4 and Modern Warfare kind of got in the middle of that somehow. I don't know how, I guess that's that's a pretty good way of looking at it. But let's get straight in to the bad about Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. First of all, the aim assist. The aim assist, especially on the snipers, is insane. Like, some of y'all out there that's sweating with the snipers, pro players that use the snipers, they're going to town with it. And a lot of you may disagree and say, oh, I love the aim assist with snipers. No, if I'm running at you with a with an SMG, you should not be able to just slide across the screen and blast me with the quick scope. You know what I mean? Every single time. That's just too unrealistic. The other thing that's really bad about this game is the UAV sound. Constantly going off every time you get a UAV it makes that beeping sound every time there's a red dot that pops up on the map that needs to get t be taken out pronto um, the spawns in this game are another bad thing especially on satellite I don't know the, the spawning flips the rotations 
it just it, it plays really really clunky I guess I could say um, definitely should be fine-tuned um, you know sometimes I would spawn and just immediately get hit markered with the type 68 out of my spawn running forward you know what I mean like come on Call of Duty um, another thing is and I don't know if it's just me but every single time I go into a match um, I join mid game like I don't get into a lobby I join mid games where the teams being dominated and that might just be an alpha thing where people don't care about their stats so they're just rage quitting out of there if they're not doing good right away but literally every single game that I pull up I join mid game and it drives me insane like I don't want to join a game where we're being dominated they got a chopper gun in the air you know I mean nobody wants to do that uh, but that's probably it for the bad I want to get right into what's ugly about this game and the biggest most ugliest thing about this game is sound horn the sound how loud your footsteps are is worse than how modern warfare was when it first started and they definitely did a way better job fixing it so I'm pretty sure Cold War is gonna fix this well, might not even be fixing the beta but Ninja is a such is probably the most trash purse perk in Call of Duty history. Does absolutely nothing. <clears throat> when I got that on, people are still like aiming at me through a wall because they can hear me with their $350 headset. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. Um, what's ugly too is even though it's a pretty game, the maps are not good. You know, like I said, the the spawn rotations and everything are not good. I don't know if it's the three lane thing I don't know if it's just the open field thing but I don't know something about it like especially like Miami it just does not play good it just plays really weird snipers overpower like almost every map um, if there's any kind of open field you know an AR or a sniper you can't really use an SMG in anything the maps just play weird of course it's an alpha and of course it was only three maps um, who knows how many there will be in the beta and who knows how many there will be in the actual game you know but for sure I'll probably be avoiding Miami Unless it's search and destroy. The final and second most ugliest thing on that list is skill based matchmaking. Oh my god, I think I speak for everyone when I say skill based matchmaking is the worst thing that they have ever added to Call of Duty. I like I can't even explain how bad it is. Like I'm not even like a superstar at this game. But like I get put into lobbies where people are sweating their asses off, jumping around every quarter, slide canceling, like doing everything they can, balls to the screen. Like I'm trying to chill and play with my friends. Like I got a friend that's doo doo at this game. I can't even play with him because he'll get dominated. You know what I mean? Like, like come on, man. Like I, no one wants to be like that. Everyone's just trying to chill and vibe. Uh, hopefully though they implement some kind of ranking system even if it's league play you know that way it's more that would make more sense on skill based you know scenarios having a ranking thing the way that I see it is there should be a ranking uh, like league play type of thing and then multiplayer should just be freestyle you know that's why black ops 3 and black ops 2 were so good even black ops 1 like they were phenomenal no skill based matchmaking was beautiful um, but I mean that's pretty much it you know this is just an alpha the game plays real like I have a lot of fun even though you know all that bullshit is going on for some reason I still enjoy it it feels more like Call of Duty um, I'm definitely excited for what Warzone's going to bring to uh, Cold War but I mean that's it um, we'll, I guess we'll see what's gonna happen in the beta in October um, but that's it for this video guys hope you guys enjoy like I said this was completely opinionated some of you might not agree with this list, and that's okay. But if you enjoyed the video, please leave it a like. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Douches!